fire. Yeah, blue means it's really, really, really hot. What? Can I Good morning everyone. How are you doing today? I'm just trying to work out best way to fold towels on a towel ladder. I feel like there's probably a trick. How has your week been? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like maybe I should get some towels that have like a nice print or something on them because this bathroom's like quite plain it's quite like neutral um which is what i was going for but you could probably jazz it up a bit with some nice towels these are just h m home that looks all right i'm just at home today shooting some um content and actually i've been saving um a delivery from mango to open in this video although i can't really remember what i ordered sometimes like deliveries take so long i can't remember what i actually got and i think there actually might be some stuff for gray in there so i really need to open it up and have a look and i'll do that with you guys in this video i just wanted to show you my skin before i get ready for the day and put makeup on i wanted to show you a close-up of my skin okay this is my skin um bear in mind hormones at the moment i feel like i'm talking about my period a lot at the moment but i'm on my period okay so anything you see is kind of hormonal but actually normally i get quite like painful spots um let me just pop on some lip balm actually i haven't had any spots um this month which is amazing this is my skin at the moment so i've got classic tired mum dark circles um but actually I had a little bit of scarring and that seems to have like gone down quite a bit. Little, little bit spotty on my chin. Um, but I'm really happy with my skin at the moment. I think, I think it's looking really good. Um, this is with absolutely no makeup on. Um, and I wanted to show you this because obviously I've been talking about skin and me for quite a while now and I'm always talking about it in the evening at the end of my vlog when the lighting is quite dark so I wanted to start the beginning of this vlog talking about my skin and showing you what it looks like in daylight. It's so nice because I feel really confident actually just like wearing no makeup and just having bare skin like this. I mean my last vlog I pretty much vlogged the whole vlog without any makeup on so that just shows really and that's great we should feel confident to show our skin so this video is sponsored by skin and me and i was literally talking to my friend's mum the other day i went around to my mum's house and she had all her friends over and my friend's mum was there and she was like i just saw in your instagram you're talking about this thing and i was like explaining it to her and she was just fascinated by it like obviously it's quite a new concept she never had anything like that when she was my age and she just thought it was so impressive if you don't know what i'm talking about if you haven't heard me talk about this before this is skin and me well this is my daily doser from Skin and Me. Skin and Me is a subscription, which is amazing because it just means it's so easy. It just comes through your letterbox and it's just like done. We all have so much going on in our lives. So if our skincare can be made simple, I just think that is such a plus. You sign up to Skin and Me, you fill out all this information about your skin, about your skin type, about your lifestyle. We'll put together a plan which is tailor-made for you and your individual skin needs. That's what's so incredible about it. We all have different skin needs. You may have acne, you may have rosacea, you may have really dehydrated skin you may be quite concerned about wrinkles and fine lines and whatever that is your daily doser is personalized and tailored for you i also really like that within your plan it changes over months so whatever skincare you've got in your daily doser they gradually increase it so that your skin can build up a tolerance to it my daily doser is quite acid based because i put fine lines and wrinkles as my main skin concern but when my sister filled it out and did it all about rosacea and redness in the skin she had a totally different formula so you're getting access to personalized skincare without the huge wait time and the huge expense another thing I really like about it is when you get your daily doser which is just such a clever concept it's got the perfect amount for what you need for a month so you're not going to be wasting any product you don't have to be unsure of like oh, how much do I use I don't really know you literally just twist this until it clicks and then that is your perfect amount of product. I use mine every evening. And the team like check in on you and see how you're getting on. Honestly, it's so great. I've recommended it to so many friends. I do have another discount code for you guys. It's LilyP10Y. If you use that code at checkout, you'll get your first daily doser for just £3.50 instead of the usual £24.99. So it was a great opportunity to try it out. If you're new and a bit nervous to trying more active ingredients in your skincare, I really think 
this is a good place to start. I'm very happy with my skin at the moment and the results. Let me know if any of you guys have signed up using any of my previous codes and how you're getting on. I would love to hear from you, especially because we all have different skin and different skin concerns. I'd love to know how it's working for like all different types of people with different skin concerns. So thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. I am going to put on a little bit of makeup though today because I'm going to be filming some content. I think I'm just going to keep it really light with like a little bit of a nice glowy base and a little bit of mascara. And whilst I get ready, I'm going to watch This Morning and Loose Women clips on YouTube. I don't know why, I always get served them on my homepage and then I just end up like watching loads in a row. <laughs> Got my mango parcel and another couple of things just came. Okay, before I open the mango parcel, I have something that has been sent to me and I think it's from a friend or family because it's not to my PO box. And I'm pretty sure it's a bottle of something. Who sent me a bottle of something? Woo! This is exciting. Oh, it's from um, Not Another Bill, which is a cute little company that does like gifts you can send that like something more exciting to get in the post than a bill. I love you. Who loves me? <laughs> to my best friend, remember you're the best friend. Love your best friend. <laughs> oh, that's from Hannah. Oh my gosh, look what she has sent me. Oh, the uh, Ami, Ami, Ami Rose. The really nice one in the nice bottle. Oh, that's very kind. You are very, very, very kind and very sweet. And oh my God, I love this Rose. Thank you so, so much. You so didn't have to do that. Love you, thank you. The next thing is from my friend Alex. You guys will know her and follow her online as The Frugality. She's super cool. And she has sent me her new uh, matches. So actually, look, I've got one here. The first one she did, I think, was pink, which is downstairs. And then she did this one. This is a collaboration with Frances Costello. And she's got a new... I just think this is so cool. How cool that her thing is like matches and collaboration with artists. So cool. Oh, I love that. That's just folded on top. I think I'm just gonna keep that for when I send people gifts. Oh, sweet, she's wrapped up a couple of um, candlesticks as well. Oh no, wait, if I open it now, I won't be able to open it on Instagram. Oh man, this is what happens. I'm always torn between the platforms. I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna do an unwrapping on Instagram and then I'll come back and show you the matches. Okay, I filmed a quick little ASMR story. Honestly, it's, now there are just like so many platforms. It's, it's so crazy. Like back in the day, I just used to give everything to a vlog. But if I'd have just done that on a vlog, like Alex isn't gonna see this. She's not gonna watch my YouTube videos. And the same with like lots of other brands. It's really important for me to put that on Instagram and tag it on Instagram. And it's totally different audience. Um, it's just, it's weird. Like yesterday I was making so much content and I had to basically double up on everything. I had to make like a TikTok version and an Instagram version. And then there's no way I could have been vlogging at the same time. It's just like, it's mad, honestly, managing all the different platforms and the different styles of those platforms. It's crazy. Anyway, here are the matches. So these ones are in collaboration with Simone Bruden. This is the back, which is gorgeous with this like blue paint wash. And then this is the front. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a face. It looks like a face to me. So, so gorgeous. So I guess the idea they're like match boxes that you keep and you can like refill. Um, but they always come with really gorgeous matches. So these ones are black with a blue tip. I love it. She's making me want to collect matchboxes, which I think is like her thing. I did not realize, like, I just, they're gorgeous. I have three now around my house and I love them. So I think you can get those on her shop, on the Frugality shop. What a morning, two absolutely gorgeous deliveries. But the thing I was actually gonna to talk to you about is my mango delivery. So let's refresh my memory on what I ordered because like I said in a previous video, I've been ordering a lot of stuff because seasons change, I need to get stuff for the kids and yeah, I have made a few orders. I am 
guilty of making online orders and then kind of forgetting what I ordered, but hopefully I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, let's keep all these things in case I need to return anything. There's a coat. There's a coat, that's exciting. There's two coats, <laughs> both in a large. Hmm. I just don't know what size I am. I'm always in between sizes. Okay, this looks like a little vest top. I think I wanted something, for example, today, like often I just need like layering pieces underneath like cardigans. I went for a little nude vest top. So I'll try that on. And this also looks like it is for me. The same one in black. I used to always get my vest tops from Topshop. Oh, this was a bit of a wild card. This is a long sleeve top, really into wearing long sleeve tops. And I thought this would look cool maybe with some black trousers, kind of like smart-ish. It's a really a nice like blue color, but it's high neck. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I like that it's like ribbed. Gonna give that a go. And then it looks like all this stuff is for gray. Cute. Okay, she, we've got some leggings and I thought those would look nice because they look like trousers, but they're comfy and they're leggings. I'm all about my kids wearing comfy clothes. They look super long, maybe a little bit small. Let's see if those fit her. Oh, although trying on clothes with kids. I mean, it's impossible with Rudy and with Grey, I have to seriously bribe her. Tights, because I want to buy her some cute dresses and I thought she needed some tights. And then, this dress, which looks so sweet. It always gets to this time of year and then we have like lunches and I think, oh, I wish I had like more cute dresses and stuff for Grey because she wears a lot of like just leggings and oversized jumpers. I thought that would be really sweet. Oh, I really like that. Okay, this is the vest top. Perfect, basic vest top for layering under things. So I'm gonna keep that in the black and keep it in the nude. Let's try on that blue top. Color is, really nice like i don't really have anything else this color i'm gonna tuck it in i'm wearing these kind of wool trousers from arquette and this is what i imagined i would wear it with i mean it looks quite like i'm going to the office <laughs> i kind of like it i don't really know i think if i had a different trousers and a belt to break up a bit it'd be nice i mean it's kind of like plain i don't know do i like this i think i might have to put it on instagram and ask everyone's opinion i think it's nice to have a little pop of color especially if i'm wearing like a black coat or something is there a way it's so hard to show full length outfits um on a camera like this rather than portrait all the way back can you see i think i'm gonna keep it i'm just gonna put on my birkenstock bostons just to try these on. By the way, I have different ones to what everyone else has, and I don't know if these are easier to get in stock, but if they are, I thought I would let you know that I'm actually really happy with them. I think everyone else has gone for the taupe suede. These are tobacco brown, and they, they're a little bit more hard wearing. They're not as like floppy as the suede. I think it's like a oiled leather or something, but I thought if I'm like jumping on the tube and walking around London, these are gonna be a bit more hard wearing and I really like them. This is the first coat. I wanted something super long and belted. I do like what this looks like, but I don't love the feel of it. It's kind of like furry, and I just have a feeling that the quality isn't great and that it won't last well. You know, when you just can tell, I feel like if I got this coat from And Other Stories or Arquette, it would just last me longer. This feels like it's it's gonna be a one season thing. So although I really do love the length of it and the look, I think it's worth me hunting down another one that's like better quality. So I think I'm gonna say no to this one. Okay, this was such a rogue purchase. And when I opened it up, I was like, Lily, what are you doing? This is so not you. But now I've got it on, I just, I don't know why I like it. <laughs> it's basically like, it's like a mix between a fisherman's coat and like a barber jacket. It's got brown, um, corduroy collar, a massive hood. The inside is like tartan, and then it's this kind of sicky green color, but it's also kind of slightly like oil, like waxed. I don't know why I like this. <laughs> I mean, it would definitely not be like a work coat. It would be a weekend walking coat, but I love the length. I kind of love the color. It opens up at the back. It's, it's kind of heavy, which I like, and Feels quite warm, massive pockets, big hood. Like, am I mad? I don't know why I like this, but I, there's something about it that I really like. It feels like quite a nice like raincoat, 
The one I have is quite thin. I'm just not sure if it's like very me. Oh, I have just seen that the collar pops off. I just did a snack haul and try <laughs> for TikTok, which I'm sure is gonna annoy lots of people, but I, I quite like that sort of content. Um, and this is what I tried. Serious Pig Snacking Pickles, which are a lie. They say they're baby gherkins, they're not. They're cornichons. Is that how you say them? They're just, you know, they've just renamed them. I actually expected like miniature gherkins, which would be sweeter. These are quite sour. I keep eating them though. These um, keto raw chocolate chip morsels, which I took that much of a bite of and just, it's not for me. Uh, these broccoli crisps, which actually look like broccoli. They're like those mushroom crisps that I'm obsessed with, but the, do you know what I mean? Like little bits of broccoli, but the broccoli crisps, sorry, the mushroom crisps taste amazing. These kind of, Tastes like not much. They, they have a nice crunch, but they don't have a strong flavour. These definitely win. Um, plantain chips with garlic. I feel like I've seen these on a TV show or something. Am I imagining that? They're literally like plantain chips and this is the garlic flavour and they have an amazing flavour, amazing crunch. Do you want to hear ready? Mmm. Oh good. They are so good. Only four ingredients apparently. This is what we are having for dinner tonight. Oven baked cod with peppers and olives from the Lisa Rukin book, My Relationship with Food. Looks yum and healthy. I have some serious tidying up to do in my office. I've got like clothes and packaging and stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna get on with doing that now and I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here, but everything that I've shown and talked about will be linked down below in the description box, including the Skin Me discount code. It's LilyP10Y for any of you that wanted a little reminder there and I will put a link down below in the description box if you would like to sign up, as I said, for £3.50 instead of the usual £24.99. Thank you so much to Skin Me for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.